Surprising news out of UT today. The university has rehired former Vol football coach Philip Fulmer. Fulmer has accepted a part-time position as special advisor to the president for community, athletics, and university relations. He will be working all across the UT campus. WBIR 10 sports anchor Cheerston Sussell joins us from campus with more on this hire. And Cheerston, this was a rather unexpected move. John and Robin, it really was, but as surprising as the hire was, they really can't think of a better person for the role as special advisor to the president than former UT football coach and really legendary football coach Philip Fulmer. He was a football player at UT. Of course, he also served as the head football coach for 17 years and really has spent most of his adult life serving UT in some capacity. That includes volunteering for the university through the UT President's Council as well. Fulmer preached unity in a press conference today this afternoon saying that is what it's going to take for this university to have success and he also wanted to make sure he addressed one more thing in particular. I have absolutely no animosity for not being named the athletic director. I simply felt compelled to try that position because of my love and passion for the university. Coach Fulmer said it best, you know, is, you know, for Tennessee to get back to where he had us, you know, standing on that, uh, the trophy looks a little bit different now, uh, but it's still the one that we want to have someday. Um, and that happened because everybody was aligned and uh, his leadership and getting us aligned is really, really special and important and we're grateful for that. Ah, uh, yes, the elephant in the room was addressed. Fulmer said he has no animosity for not getting the AD job, and both Fulmer and Curry were very complimentary of each other, and they both wanted to make sure that they addressed their relationship. No animosity between them as well. I'll have more on their relationship as well as Fulmer's new role coming up in the next hour. But for now, John and Robin, I'll send it back to you.